Hello, everybody, and welcome to the highlights of my first successful Eclipse 8 run. I'll start the video here by giving a brief rundown on the general workings of Eclipse difficulty. So if you already know what it is or just don't really care about the strategies and how I approach each run, you can jump to this point in the video to begin the gameplay highlights. Also, I want to make it clear that this is not an Eclipse guide by any means. I'll simply give an overview of the difficulty and share what I've learned so far. Eclipse mode was added in 1.0 and is essentially monsoon difficulty that as you win or complete more runs and the only way to win is to kill the final boss you cannot obliterate at all each victory will make the next one more difficult to achieve via the stacking modifiers that hinder you currently there are eight different levels of eclipse and each have their own unique modifier to go with these mods stack obviously so at eclipse eight you'd be under the effects of every single thing you see here while on eclipse one you'd only have the first each survivor's eclipse level is tracked separately meaning now that I've completed Captain on E8, whoever I choose to play next will be back on E1, and I'll have to work my way back up all the way to level 8. As far as the downsides of each modifier, well, they vary pretty wildly. For example, you may see the E1 modifier here and say, whoa, half HP, that's rough. But in reality, all it means is that when you spawn in a stage, half of your HP is missing right off the bat, but can still be regened and healed back up as usual. Not that big of a deal at all. It's kind of like you hit a blood shrine right away, but didn't get any money. E2 is also pretty much a joke. Half the TP radius is not a big deal for anyone who knows how to deal with threats correctly. E3, on the other hand, this one is rough, especially when playing a survivor without a mobility skill to reset momentum while falling, like the captain. Essentially, if you jump off anything more than a low to medium height cliff, you are dead. If you fall off the map, you are definitely dead, save for if you have something to reset momentum, like a hopu feather or immunity to fall damage via transcendence or head stomper. And if you're fighting something like a magma worm who can easily knock you into the air. Well, I hope you weren't jumping around beforehand to dodge things with your hopu feathers, because if you get launched and don't have a way to break the fall, you're dead. Maybe I'm over exaggerating here because I chose to play the captain for my first eclipse experience who uh, doesn't have a way to deal with the fall damage, but it's definitely one of those mods that you must keep in the forefront of your mind, else it will get you killed. E4 was scary at first, beetles come zooming towards you at the speed of light, but it's not that big of a deal once you get used to it as only enemy movement speed is affected and not their rate of attack. E5 is also pretty scary, but again, you get used to it. You will still feel the effects of getting an early leeching seed, cautious slug, wood sprite, etc. You just won't have as much room for error as you wait for them to top your health off. E6 is bad, but not detrimental as it only slows down your farming by a little bit in the grand scheme of things. E7 is a test of how good your target priority is as cooldown reduction for enemies is essentially attack speed. Enemies attack twice as fast is pretty much what this one says. However, if you are correctly assessing and dealing with threats, it's not that bad at all, as the dangerous enemies will still be just as dead as usual, but if you do not deal with threats correctly, they will pile up and literally be twice as dangerous. Finally, E8. At first, I was like, geez, this one is going to be impossible. I won't be able to play aggressively at all. But as with the other mods, once you get used to it, it's not a huge deal. Honestly, E8 really only matters in the final stage, which should be stage six if you're doing it right. I'll cover why I never looped my eclipse runs here in a second. And otherwise, again, it's simply a test of how good your target priority is and nothing else. The reason it's a non-issue before stage 5 and really just on stage 6 is because any health you lose to the modifier is only lost for that stage. You recover any health that is permanently lost, which is indicated via the curse mechanic that you have with shape glass and spinal tonic, as soon as you reach the next stage. So as long as you're literally not AFKing during the teleporter, you'll be fine. Except on the final stage, which to talk about that, I will just cover the general strategic approach I took to each run. I started off playing Eclipse runs like regular Monsoon, where I take my time if the context dictated it, but quickly realized that no matter what, rushing through, and I mean straight booking it through the first two stages was much better for my overall runs. It saved so much time and effort by keeping the enemies relatively harmless for stages three and four, which in turn allowed me to take time to farm loot, find scrappers, and so on and so forth. I'd say my average time for completing stage three and TPing to stage four was about 12 minutes minutes for some perspective. Obviously, there were times, such as when I found a good printer, that I would sit back and farm for a few more items, but other than those edge cases, I would try to reach stage 3 by 8 minutes or so every single time. The rushing strat is exacerbated to the nth degree in Eclipse runs because the run itself is so short. You only have one objective in Eclipse, and that is to kill Mithrix. That's it. Therefore, there is no point in looping an Eclipse because so long as you make it to stage 6 in under like 25 minutes, the enemies before that point are basically a joke.
joke. If you choose to loop, however, yeah, good luck dealing with the hordes upon hordes of juiced up Malachite, Celestine, Scavengers, etc. It's just not worth it at all. Not to mention, you're making the final fight even harder for yourself. If you have amazing damage on stage 5, you go straight to the boss because you'll wreck him. If you have decent damage, you go to the boss because you have a fair chance of taking him down. If you have no damage, you go to the boss because you won't make it through another loop anyway. That's basically all it boils down to. Anyway, I said this was not an eclipse guide, and it's not, so I won't keep you from the gameplay any longer. The run was taken off my stream at twitch.tv slash wooldygaming, and consider joining our Discord server as well if you want notifications when I go live and such. Thank you for watching, and I gotta go do this thing on nine other survivors now. Woo! It's still a permaband though. Okay, we're out of here right away. We're out of here right away. Don't get hit by the frost relic. Oh. I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna be smart and take a teddy bear. I forgot that equipment barrel, didn't I? Ooh! Okay, all right. You know what? We're going straight to the boss. We're going straight what to the boss. What? Oh! Scrapper! 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 Come on, hey. dude. Come on. Ooh! Out of my mouth. Feet mouth. Oh! Okay, now we're cooking. Yes! Dude, these prints are nuts. Chat, these prints are actually crazy. Try to, um, sticky bomb, gasoline. Sticky bomb and gasoline. Oh, the God Prince, chat. The God Prince right there. Oh my gosh. That was actually nuts without a scrapper. Nice. That's attack speed. That's attack speed. If you think about it, that's a predatory. That's attack speed. Let's go. <laughs> that's more attack speed and that's momentum. Okay, I'm out. I'm just, I'm gone. I'm gone. I have everything I need. I have everything I need right now, chat. This is the run. This is the run. Eclipse 8 coming in hot. Don't do it. <laughs> magma, magma worms. Really? What is it? Baby chump time, huh? Cool baby stream. Magma worms in 2020? Come on. Really? You gotta do better than that. You gotta do a little better than that, you know? You can't take me down with just one magma worm. Oh, they brought two. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Can't take me down with 10 magma worms. You can take take minimum 10. Minimum. Maybe even 20. I don't even know at that point. All right, we have no med kit. We have no... We have nothing annoying for the boss. Except the bleed. If I get hit once by the... the <laughs> if I get hit once by the daggers, I'm kind of dead. It's all my fault if I die on this run. This is 100% a free run. 100%. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is Eclipse 8. I have it in the bag. I just don't mess up. If I mess up, I'm dead and it's my fault. Period. End of story. All right, boys. Here we go. Eclipse 8 Mythics coming in hot for the third time today, I think. No, second time. I died before I got to him last time. I think. I dodged that. Oh, maybe not. Oh. Although my my orbital strike does like no damage. It's all about my bleed. It'll be really good, chat. A Warhorn. A Warhorn with a fuel cell wood sprite is actually crazy good. Kind of unlucky we didn't get one. I could check the cauldrons. I could go ahead and check the cauldrons, but it's not. I, I, we need to kill the flying guy. What am I doing? I need to back the heck off here. Okay, he's too close. He's too close. No! Don't hit me. Nah. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. He's dead to the bleed. No, don't hit. Uh. Oh, we got him. Woo! Get out of here. Let's go, dude. Holy crap. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? I'm on fire today, chat. I'm on fire. We ain't get hit once. We ain't get hit one single time. Who is this man? Keep the bleed sacks up. I'm just gonna AFK. Okay. Why not? I can't let the shot charge up too much because then the bleed will wear off. Yeah. 17 sacks. I'm like 18 times. There we go. All right, boys. I'm focusing on the run. I am focusing on the run. Here we go. We'll go this way. You guys do a cool trick. Okay, that's not a good one. Wait, wait, that wasn't it. That, that wasn't it. Don't look. That wasn't it. <laughs> Woo, calm down. Whoa. Whoa, he's fast. Don't lose the bleed. Whatever I do, can't lose the bleed. Get it. Hey, we did it. Nice. Good phase one. Good phase one. Something cheesy. Something cheesy, chat. You guys think I can? Yeah or nay? Yeah or nay? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Bye bye, Mr. See you later, chump. Oh my gosh. Imagine complaining about phase four Mythrix when you just cheese them anyway, dude. Oh my gosh. I was too late. That was too late. I, I actually know how to do it now. Like 100% of the time. I know how to do it. Oh my gosh, dude. Hit. All right, right here. Right here. You jump right there, and then he goes. And then he goes. It's that easy. It's that easy. It's that easy, chat. Bye-bye, Mythrix. See you later. Bye-bye. Not going to save you. Not going to save you. Flying enemies first. Flying enemies first. Ah, terrible taste. Terrible taste. 
Oh my gosh. Woo! Alright, this is not good. All the flying enemies converging on my position! Woo! Yes, let's go. Let's go. Wait, I'm not losing HP. Am I on Eclipse 8? Hello? Was that the repul- Dude, that's the repulsion armor. Dude, that's the repulsion, chat. It's actually busted. I'm not losing any HP from the flying guys. The repulsion is busted. It's busted. Okay, I took a little bit. I took I'm arrogant. Arrogant streamer. Arrogant streamer coming in hot. I need to make the bleed stick here. Come on. There we go. We got one. Oh, I missed. Come on, dude. I got it. I want to keep in range, but I want to block the shots too. I have to, be, I have to play this super slow. It's good that I play this slow and don't get optimal DPS. Okay. I'm trolling. He's dead. Okay. Last one. He's almost dead. Boom. Let's go, dude. All right, all the flying enemies are dead. Now we can just mindlessly kill these guys. Like they ain't nothing. Almost got hit by that. All right. Oh! Uh, I'm a little too high up here. No! Whoa, 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 whoa. Trolling, trolling, trolling. Ha ha, prank you, Mythics. Ha ha. Might as well kill this guy real quick. Might as well. Nope. Not really donates either. Joke's on you. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh no. Alright. Oh, uh, ooh! <clears throat> no, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Regret, immediately regretted that. Kinda don't want to pop on top of Mithrix here. I need to get him to TP. I need to do enough damage to get him to TP. So I need to just go ham with the bleed here. Oh, I'm dead. No! We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Everything's okay. Everything's okay, chat. Everything's okay. Why did you just use that attack? He should go to the center here. Come on. Yes! All right. All right, boys. <laughs> uh, why are you doing that right now? Hello? Come on, baby. Come on, Mitchell. Get over here, buddy. Okay, not that fast. You're too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Uh, too much. No! Yes, okay, we're fine, we're fine. That kind of works, I guess. Nah, it's not gonna do anything. Uh, 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 a little bit. Ah, that bleed's gonna cancel it, isn't it? Ah, is it bad to be the, in the air? Don't hit me. Don't hit me from behind. I don't like that. I don't like you like that, Mithrix. Get out of my face. Get up here, buddy. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. True. No, 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 no. That was bad. Should go to center. There it goes. All right. Trolling. I need to kill some hat. Dude, no freaking way. I missed that. Captain just picked his path to pass and saved my ass. Like, actually. Oh my god! 
No items. No freaking items, dude. Look at that HP! No! Dude, what the heck is that rate of attack? Hello? Holy cringe, dude. No way. Alright, alright, I, I, I have to let him get a shield back. I have to let him get a shield back. I'm trying to be greedy here. Dude, he's just AFK. He's just AFK hitting me. I have to let him get a shield back. Screw it. Like, this should not be a thing. Chat, this should not be a thing. I should not have four items when he has less than 5k HP. Hello, video game. This should not be a thing. What is this? That, see, this is why this fight's annoying, dude. It's why everybody doesn't like the fight right now. What the hell is this? Holy crap, dude. Should not be a thing. Oh, one straight bullet. Make a mistake. Uh uh. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. What? You're fucking me, dude. No uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Illegal. Uh uh. Uh uh. You little punk. All right. We're not done yet. We're not done. We still have to escape yet. We. I, I can die here with half HP. I can definitely die. Come on. We got four minutes, baby. We got four minutes. Come on! Get me out of here, please! I hear keeps getting my way, get out of my get way! Get me out of here! TC do it, you chunky boy! Take the wood sprite, a little jump! Take it, boy! Come on! We're there! We did it! Yes! Alright! Eclipse 8! Done! Woo! Let's go, dude! It only took a tri-tip printer, Omega Lol. It only took a tri-tip printer and immunity to fall damage, dude. Holy crap. Holy crap, I didn't cheese him, okay, I didn't cheese him.